We're back on Smells Like 90s Rock. Pork, any updates from your neck of the woods? And I want you to think real hard because there are times when you think real hard and then you forget and and then we don't get anything. Or we get it off air. Yeah, exactly. When the gem's just not mm-hmm. being shared. Not a lot, really. The only th- I think the funniest thing that happened was we were talking about mishaps on Zoom calls, or but they're all hypothetical mishaps. Oh. Like I'm, I'm really glad I did not go to high school with one of my coworkers because he's like especially mean. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, like <laughs> if he was sort of he was talking about if, yeah, if we were in high school, I would like yeah, I would so. I would roast some people over some Zoom calls. Like, man, why is there a hole in your wall? Why do you have a Spider-Man sheet as a door? Why? Why? Who, who the hell did he go to high school with? I don't know, but I just... I thought some oh, of those, and if he saw, like, poor sad little room that only has, like, a blanket on the wall. That's right, your tapestry. Yeah, that's covering the hole in the wall. <laughs> is it literally covering a hole in the wall? Yeah. Oh, MG. Oh, uh, I was gonna say. Don't, not, that, not that trashy. Well, let's. I was about to say. I was gonna say, Jesus, pork. Have me come over. I can fix it. <laughs> but I remember where you. I know where you live. I used to live there too, and maintenance is pretty good about fixing that stuff. I was about to say. I don't know though. I guess I kind of believed it because they're convinced that their dryer's normal. So <laughs> that's true. They kind of just look the other way on clearly obvious problems. They don't. Yeah, they they're not too concerned about things that you should really be concerned about. Or just the fact that there's like a just back to the Zoom call thing. Just the fact that there's still like a dress code for high schools. Yeah, that's like how exactly can you enforce that? Like you can't come to like with like PJs on. They suspend like that. them. That's 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 still a thing. Yeah, somehow they've come in. That's what they spent their six months doing, not trying to figure out how to have school during this pandemic. How can <laughs> we, how can we humiliate children <laughs> now on Zoom as opposed to doing it in person? Yeah, how how can we still like show these kids who's their boss? Exactly. How do we bend these kids over? Well, here's how. So, yeah, like what? You, I guess they shut them out of the Zoom call? Oh, you don't get today's assignment. Oh, I guess, yeah. Real, real... And like, I don't know. Um, the whole Zoom culture, I think, has changed things. Like, there's this um, subreddit called Am I the A-Hole? And this guy was talking about how he did a Zoom call... And his wife makes like four times what he does. And here's the irony, because he works at a radio station. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he works part-time because he's trying to break into the entertainment field. And I just wanted to tell him that... Um, Don't do it, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> that might not happen. Run away. I tend to not be smart in the whole, like, hiring up thing. Mm-mm. Um, but so he had his, like, one-year-old, and it was on his lap, and it was, like, screaming because it's, like, it's playful time or some crap like that. <laughs> And one of the girls on the Zoom call was like, can you have your wife watch the baby? Um, it's being really distracting. And then somebody else spoke up and was like, yeah, can you um, have Shut your wife that watch baby up. Uh, while, we're, while we're holding the, uh, the, the meeting? And so the guy responds back. He's like, my wife makes four times what I do. I'm just going to have to keep the baby, but I can go on mute. And so, That's what he said. My wife makes four times than me. I gotta watch the baby. Screw you. So he got the he got rated as an a an a hole, and um, I can understand why because his response was kind of a jerk thing to do. Well, I mean, yeah. If if that's literally how it went, my wife makes four times than me. She's too yeah, important. So I gotta watch the kid. She's too important to watch the child. There at all. Yeah. yeah. But my thing is, like, the baby was supposed to be one. At that age, they are cribbable. Like, if you're both in important Zoom meetings, baby gets an early nap that day. Put yeah. Put in the crib. 
Yeah, that's when you're like over it, like too into your child. No offense to anybody yeah, who like, loves to. Who, no offense if you love your kid. I'm just. <laughs> well, no, but like sometimes you have to move the nap time up or it's, whatever. It's okay, overkill. It's playtime. Yeah, no, it's overkill. Like you, you gotta grow up a little bit with it. That that clearly is a, the first child of there of this guy's yeah. right. I mean, so it's first child syndrome. Like I was. Well, I had a first child too, but like. You you are a different breed of human being. That's that's the difference between you and most parents. Most parents who are like eager to have children uh, are really eager to coddle their children. Right, or or even if they're not eager to have children, but they have them, and it's that first child. It hits them in that way of they yeah they coddle them, and then it's usually the second child that doesn't get as much attention, and that's usually better. Take oh no. I love my son, and I coddled him and gave no. him a lot of attention. But I was also a grown adult. And like, you also, you also it had to happen. You also ran out of a car and left him in there when you thought demon children were speaking to you. That is a fair response. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't let that go. We didn't both have to die. Well, he couldn't, he couldn't run. That, well, that's not his fault. I'm just saying, but the point is, though, yeah. I would have come back. You would have come back. That's true. I just needed like some sort of demon weapon. Right, but I mean, I'll grab my salt shaker and come back for my kit. But uh, the first Your salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, because well, salt, salt, salt demons repels demons. That's right. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Draw a salt Sorry. circle around the uh, the van, the the vehicle. Well, it was a metro. Okay, like the a metro. metro. Excuse me. Draw a salt. It the jelly bean. Draw a salt circle around the jelly bean, and well, that. Well, no, I would have like thrown salt at my son. Wait, so wait. Wait, so at the end of the day, <laughs> you would have run away from your child, left him in a car, and then came back and threw salt at him. So, <laughs> so did a, if the demon's uh, in him, it'll get out, and B, if it's woo. it won't come out while I'm grabbing him and running away. I'm just thinking from the point of view of Adrian at that age, like, this woman hates me. <laughs> mm. This she is some so happy. This is some crap, man. Oh god. <laughs> he was just chilling. Because he wasn't afraid of the demon children. He was too yeah, young. And he always liked the heavier music, so when Shine Down started playing, he was definitely into it. No, that that takes care of it right there. David Mann was like misfits and things like that. Like he just dug them. Well, that happens. So, you know that that that's a thing. Oh God! You run away, then you would come back and throw salt at him, like. Right in the face. Right in the face. Like no, I, maybe I wouldn't throw it. I'd be like salt, salt bay, bay, just like sprinkle like that, it on like, him, like that. Yeah. Yeah, like around him and then mm-hmm. grab him and run. <laughs> and then grab him. It might be run. a little bit cruel to just be like, smile, his eyes are burning. I'm right. Like, Let's go. Well, you could have gotten in, into position and drawn a circle of salt around the both of you. Yeah, I, I could have done that. But that uh, like, I'm just throwing out ideas in case it happens that again. That wasn't the plan. In case it happens again, uh, this is how you can handle it. Oh, now he's 13, so if it happens again, he's on his own. He should know to run. <laughs> But if not, you've got the salt at the ready to throw at his head. Yes, I will. Just, See, and I'll just tell him now. Close his eyes. <laughs> I'll be like, "You didn't run. Close your eyes." <laughs> and, then, and then after, after the salt shaker hurts his head, you can take him rollerblading at the roller rink. I will, and we'll get those notches with that yummy, yummy cheese whiz. <laughs> 